Hey everybody, there's some awesome stuff going on this weekend, so stick around so I can help you make your plans. We're also giving away an on-the-spot prize of two tickets to Wildlife World Zoo, so stay with us. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining our live stream. I'm Serena with Arizona Key Travel Magazine and Key 360 Media. And it's good to see you guys. I see Daniel is here, Kelly, um, Carla, I think is joining us. Okay, good. Um, so glad to see you guys. It's going to be, it's going to kind of be a different show today because it's crunch time for Dan. So he's kind of stuck doing some work instead of having fun on the show with me today. But um, Jeff will pipe up. He'll help us pick the winner of today's On The Spot giveaway. And like I said, that's two tickets to Wildlife World Zoo. And here's what I'm going to have you guys comment in if you want to win those two tickets. All you have to do is comment in what is your favorite movie involving animals? There's a lot to choose from. Let us know and I'm going to give Jeff the really hard job of selecting a winner this week. All right. So I know poor Dan has to do work. That's what Daniel says. Yep. Agreed. Agreed. Such a bummer when you have to like work on a Thursday. <laughs> But we are looking forward to the weekend. We're helping you to gear up for the weekend. And we got a whole laundry list of cool ideas, different things that you can plan to do. So we'll tell you all about that. Um, but first thing I want to tell you is in case you're new here, let us know that you're new and where you're tuning in from. And if you're new, you might not know this, but we do put together a monthly statewide travel guide called Arizona Key Travel Magazine. And we have articles, event calendars, um, all kinds of great stuff in here. And you can get it digitally um, at our website, ArizonaKey.com, or we have it out in airports, um, visitor centers, resorts, hotels, different attractions. So um, it's always fun to flip through an actual magazine. Uh, but you can also get it digitally, which is fun. And we do send out a newsletter uh, several times a month where we just have links to all the great stuff that we talk about. So that makes it handy, too, to get all that information to your phone. So consider joining our mailing list as well. Okay, and this month for our big monthly giveaway, we are giving away two VIP passes to the Waste Management Phoenix Open, which is also on our cover, and we have an article in our magazine about it. But it's a big deal, it's a big event. You may have already heard about it, because um, just tons and tons of people go and see it, you know, Lots of big names in golf are there, so it's a lot of fun. And all you have to do to enter that monthly giveaway is go to our website and just enter the giveaway. It's at the bottom of our website, really simple and easy. And we are selecting a winner next Wednesday because we have to announce it on next Thursday's show and we have to get you the tickets before the event starts on January 28th. All right, For so. Type info. Oh, can you guys hear Jeff? Are you actually, um, I is your mic live, live, Jeff? I think my mic is live. Can everyone hear me? Usually now you get to hear what I have in my ear all the time while I'm trying to talk. <laughs> That's right. Hey, oh remind my. everyone about info. Oh, okay. We do have uh, those quick links for you. All you have to do is comment info. Um, and then it'll, we'll send you a Facebook message 
with all the links from the information from today's show. So that's another cool one. All right. So, ooh, Sarah is, Soraya is here, and she said she shared. Thank you, Soraya, because I don't think I even mentioned that yet. We always love it if you can possibly share um, and tell everybody else about our show. That's what we would love. Okay, so a lot of people are giving some ideas for um, movies that they like. Dr. Doolittle is coming up a lot. Um, and Julia and some others and Daniel are saying they can hear Jeff. So that's fun. You get to hear what it's like for me. Okay. So you guys Hurry know up. about our monthly Hurry giveaway. Up. What? Hurry up. Hurry up. Okay. Yeah, that's typical. I was just kidding. <laughs> okay. So... You know about our monthly giveaway, you know about our on the spot giveaway, and some of you are already uh, typing in your comments, which is awesome. Oh, and Dottie remembered to put hashtag live. That really helps us if you can put hashtag live if you're watching live right now, or if you are watching at some future time, just put in hashtag replay. All right. Thanks, guys. Oh, Daniel says there are some birthdays coming up. His and Carla Cruz, their birthdays are the 22nd and the 24th, and they want to go to Waste Management Phoenix Open. I hope you guys win those passes. That would be a fun birthday trip, let me tell you. Okay. So... Let me just make sure I'm saying hey to everybody who is here with us today. Julia's here, Melissa, Amber, Artie's here, Jasmine, Dottie, Lola, Brian, Kelly, Daniel, of course. Um, let's see, Julia and Amber. Okay, I hope I got everybody. Thank you guys for tuning in today. I feel like, oh, it's so boring without Dan, but... What are you going to do? <laughs> you, you guys are just stuck with me. All right. Um, let me tell you about another article that I have in our magazine this month. It is an article on duck out adventure brokers. And I, you know, I, I delved into it a little bit when I did the article. But it's really kind of cool because they, they do full on like every single part of the plan planning um, adventures so if you have someone some family or something coming into town or you just have a plan to take your family on a fun adventure they will plan every step of it for you including meals travel and they will put a package together so everything is all one price that you don't have to worry about a thing and sometimes there's when you're doing some of these special tours like antelope canyon or different things like that you need different kinds of permits or or passes and and uh for different hikes that kind of thing their guides are super knowledgeable and they can get all those details done for you so we did an article on duck out adventure brokers and again you can see that in our digital edition in our actual hard copy edition and we'll also have a link if you type info at the end of the show so um that's something to check out. I think definitely the next adventure that we go on, I want somebody else to plan it for me. <laughs> that makes it a lot more relaxing, doesn't it? Okay, so now on to some cool things to do, and I've got a ton of them to tell you about. So I'm just gonna go through my big, long laundry list, but while I do that, go ahead and keep commenting in any kind of movie that you love with animals in it. And we'll see what Jeff has to say about it. Okay, so I wanna tell you about a couple things going on. Now through January 27th, The Music Man presented by Arizona Theater Company. I actually went to this show and I really, really loved it. You should check that one out. Um, it's a classic show, so if you love that type of thing. And it's at the Herberger Theater Center, which is a beautiful venue, so can't go wrong. Um, now through February 5th, they're doing the 7th annual Tucson Desert Song 
Festival. And what it is, it's a 10 day classical voice festival. And they're going to have internationally known soloists out. It's going to celebrate the life and the music of Leonard Bernstein. So that should be pretty fun for all the music lovers out there. And they're performing with the Tucson Symphony Orchestra. So that should be really cool. Um, let's see. I want to just take a quick look at what some people are putting in. They're putting in some Oh, Madagascar is my favorite too, Amanda. It's so hilarious. I love it. We're from New Jersey. And I love the line in there where the uh, Alex the Lion is like, you're on the Jersey side. And it was like an insult. We take it. <laughs> okay. So um, that's just an aside. Jeff's going to have to pick the winner. But that's probably what I would pick if I was, if I was picking. Okay. So here's some more ideas for you. January 11th through March 24th. There is the Arizona Fine Art Expo of 2019, and this is open daily, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. It's out in Scottsdale. It's Scottsdale Road and Joe Max, um, and they have just, it's, it's huge. They have all kinds of exhibits, um, so it's kind of like a combination between, I would call it like a studio tour and um, an exhibition because um, you have all those artists there displaying their work. You can purchase work, but you also get to see the artists working on their on their artwork. So that's really cool. And you can get a season pass for just ten dollars and go the whole time through March twenty fourth, any day you want. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and kids twelve and under are free. So that's kind of a neat one. January 11th through the 21st is the fourth annual Tucson Jazz Festival. This is an 11 day festival. So I actually talked about this last week as well. Um, I don't know if any of you guys made it down to it, but um, they apparently have, well, there was Bobby McFerrin, um, who we probably all know from Don't Worry, Be Happy, that song. Um, and then on the 21st, which is next Monday, they're going to do um, that jazz fiesta at the end, which is free. So that sounds kind of cool. There's a ton of car auctions going on, guys. There is uh, the Barrett Jackson. That's their 48th annual auction out in Scottsdale. And that's January 12th through the 20th. There is also the Russo and Steel Sports and Muscle Car Auction. That is January 16th through the 20th. And they have 800 plus sports cars, muscles, cars, hot rods. The tickets for that one are $20 to $30. Um, and it does support local charities. It's out at Salt River Fields, a talking stick. Um, but there's a lot there. I think there's another one in my list too. Oh yeah. Gooding and Company Scottsdale auction. I'm going a little out of order, but this is another car auction thing that's going on this weekend. Um, that one is January 18th through the 20th, and they're going to have vintage and classic cars. It's a $40 admission or $100 for two admissions and a catalog if you're a serious bidder. Let us know if you're a serious bidder. We want to see your car that you come away with. Um, that's Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Saturday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with the auction at 11. Have any of you guys been to any of those auto auctions? Um, sounds exciting because I know they have a lot of beautiful vehicles out there. All right, here's some other things happening. We have got January 17th through the 21st. It's the third annual Chandler International Film Festival. Did you know they had a film festival out in Chandler? It is out at the Crown Plaza San, San Marcos Resort in Chandler. Tickets start at about $35, and they have over 150 films from all different genres. So if you're like an independent film buff, that might be a fun thing to do this weekend. All right, here's another good one. This is January 18th through the 20th. It is the 26th 
annual carefree fine art and wine festival okay so they have 155 plus juried fine artisans that are going to be there from around the united states and internationally they have an elaborate collection of domestic and imported wines for tasting um, for ten dollars you get not only an engraved um, souvenir wine glass but you also get six tasting tickets so that's kind of cool. You'll have the good wine, the great music, and original artwork. So that sounds like a lot of fun. And that's in downtown Carefree. And Carefree is a really fun town. Um, and this particular festival is going to be at the corner of Easy and Ho-Hum Streets. 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., just a $3 admission or free if you are a resident of Carefree. All right, and kind of next town over in Cave Creek, January 18th through the 20th, they are doing the ninth annual Cave Creek Indian Market. So they're going to have all kinds of fine art with that Southwestern Native American um, style. They're going to have more than 100 fine artists exhibiting all kinds of different media formats. Um, and it definitely includes Native American and Western artists. It is a free event. It goes on from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. in the Stagecoach Village out in Cave Creek. They're also going to have Native American dancers, storytellers, and musicians, and some Native American foods. So that should be fun. All right, 19th and 20th of January, out in Casa Grande, 19th Annual Historic Downtown Street Fair. Uh, this is a street fair and a car show, too. Man, it's just the weather, I guess, that makes it good for a car show. Um, they're going to have 200 exhibitors, art, jewelry, pottery, lots of food and entertainment, and, of course, the classic car show. That's Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. All right. Oh, this is kind of a fun one. January 19th to the 27th. This is out in Quartzsite. It's the 36th annual sports vacation and RV show. If you've been following us for a while, you may know that we just started to delve into RVs. This past summer, we went on a vacation with some friends of ours and we rented an RV and it was a fun, fun experience for our family. So this kind of interests me now. I wish I could buy my own RV. That'd be cool. So this uh, RV show is out in Quartzsite, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. They're going to have 300 plus exhibits. It's a 69,000 square foot tent, so a huge tent free admission, and anything you might need for your next RV trip. So check that out and let us know about that one. Um, January 19th is Glendale's Monster Jam. It is at State Farm Stadium, 7 p.m. and 10 p.m. And this is your monster battle, right? So they're going to have the legendary grave digger. Hmm, I don't know anything about it, but sounds exciting. That's out in Glendale. So let me see what you guys are talking about. Um, oh, Christina is with us. She says she just got on from work. Awesome, awesome. Carla says that Carefree is a cool little town, and it really is. Um, oh, Alvina has her comment in for a, an animal movie, and she goes with Homeward Bound. That was a sweet one. Kelly has been to Barrett-Jackson and R the Russo Steel auctions. Wow. Kelly, you're going to have to post pictures of the beautiful um, automobiles you've purchased. <laughs> We'd love to see that. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, and Kelly says that her husband is taking her son to the Monster Jam. So, yes, Kelly, you're going to have to let us know what you thought of it. Okay. Pretty awesome. All right, a couple more things, and then we will let Jeff make that selection for us. So you have a couple more minutes to get your favorite animal movie comment in to win those two tickets to Wildlife World Zoo.
So here's a couple more events. January 19th, there's the Downtown Mesa Fest, which is a festival of the arts out in Mesa. They do it on the first and third Saturdays all the way through April. And it's from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. off Main Street and McDonald. And it is a free event. Lots of art, music, food, fun for the whole family. And January 19th, is the 2019 German Festival. This is out in Yuma. But if you love you some brats and some beer, this might be a fun thing to do. It's from 12 noon to 8 p.m. Traditional German music, games, dancing, contests, polka, brats, I'm sure there's some sauerkraut, lots of fun. It's just a dollar admission or free if you're wearing lederhosen so if you do that and you're wearing lederhosen definitely post a picture okay january 19th and 20th is the sedona veg fest all right this is a two-day celebration of plant-based lifestyles I don't know. I tried to go vegan for a while. It didn't last long. <laughs> but they are doing this at the Sedona Performing Arts Center and they're promoting health and wellness and all the environmental uh, benefits of just going all plant. They'll also do cooking demos. That would be helpful. Um, and tickets start at $15 up in Sedona. All right, if you're headed up to Flagstaff this weekend, January 19th, you might want to check out the ninth annual Flagstaff Brouhaha. So it is a winter tasting event at High Country Conference Center in Flagstaff, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. They're going to have 60 of the best local, regional, and national breweries, over 150 different craft beers, plenty of live music, and they do something called the Best of the Fest Snowman's Choice Award for home brewers. I know a lot of people are kind of into brewing their own. That's kind of interesting. So that might be fun to check out the Flagstaff Brewhaha. There you go. <laughs> and then, okay, this is my last one for you. This is, it starts on the 23rd and it goes all the way through March 10th, but you want to get your tickets ahead of time. This is the show Jersey Boys, um, and it's being performed at Phoenix Theater. You already know Jeff and I are from Jersey, so <laughs> we're already bent towards this, but this is a really fun show. It, ha it spent 12 years on Broadway in New York. It won the 2006 Tony Award for Best Musical, and it's kind of like the behind-the-scenes tell-all story of Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons. So obviously they do a just all of your favorite um, tunes by Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons that you will definitely know, like Sherry, Big Girls Don't Cry, Walk Like a Man, Oh What a Night, uh, working my way back to you and more like all of those favorites that you know and the tickets start at $29 and we did do an article in our magazine on it so I did a little research about the show and it just really seemed fascinating to me because it's almost like Sopranos meets a boy band <laughs> because they were kids from some guys from Jersey and trying to get out of the mob life kind of and so they formed this boy band and they had a squeaky clean image but behind the scenes they had all kinds of mob connections and and things like that so it sounds like a really fun show with some great music so check it out or check out our article in the magazine. It's on page 53 if you um, check out our digital edition. And if you type info, um, you will get a direct link. So you can check that out. All right. Well, we have gotten to the end of our really super long list. Jeff, what do you think? Does Dan have a tough job trying to pick a winner? Oh my goodness, this was uh, very challenging uh, for me. A lot of great entries, and of course I'm trying to juggle 
producing the show and yeah so this was pretty tough we we i really miss dan and if anybody of <laughs> our, you, our viewers miss dan <laughs> let him know in the comments i'm sure he'll appreciate that so yeah this was tough but um and a lot of good got a lot of good of entries but i do have a favorite i gotta say and let me see i'm trying to get a drum roll here going um here we go okay oh there we go good drum roll I'm gonna have to say Madagascar. I'm with you, Serena. Yes. And that's Amanda Ochoa. All right. Congratulations, yes. Amanda. You I know. I, I love that movie. That's a great movie. It's hilarious. <laughs> All right. Congratulations. So um, since you were the winner, Amanda, just um, PM the page. Let us know your address. We'll get those tickets sent out to you. And of course, we will be back next week with another on the spot giveaway. And next week, we announce the winner for the monthly giveaway. So if you haven't had a chance to enter online for that, um, those tickets to the Waste Management Phoenix Open, their VIP passes, get online and do that. All right, have an awesome weekend. Have a lot of fun, and then tell us all about it next week. We'll be back next week at 11 a.m. See you then.